What constitutes the idea of slow living? Is it defined by minimalism, clean white spaces, or a simplistic realm of activities that create a sense of ease? Has slow living just become a trendy fad of countryside women frolicking in the fields? And has the idea of slow living become popularized because of the pandemic? Sometimes there is a misconception that slow living is characterized by sluggish or a lazy demeanor, surrounded by a low maintenance ideologies, 100% vegan goods, and completely rejecting mainstream hustle culture and technology. However, this is not always the case. Slow living is more of a mindset as opposed to surrounding yourself with aesthetic rural produce and chirping birds. Slow living is defined as a mindset where one creates a more meaningful and mindful lifestyle with intention at the forefront. It's about taking part in activities that support your true values, tuning out the many distractions of the world and slowing down to prioritize your time around things that matter to you most. Slow living encourages practices of self-awareness, purposeful decisions and reflection. It's about switching off autopilot mode of our day-to-day -day living and instead creating a space of reflection and intention. Our heavy consumer mindset and autopilot behavior of waking up, going to work and coming home has become ritualistic in nature for many of us and there is a growing desire to break free of this habitual cycle. Slow living has naturally become more popular due to the pandemic as it was truly the only time in many of our lives where the world was actually able to take a pause. This pause brought us back to our hobbies, to nature, and to ourselves since socialization and getting ahead could no longer be at the forefront. It gave people time to stop and think about what was truly important to them. Practicing a slower lifestyle steps away from a fast-paced, consumer-driven state and into a more reflective way of being and thinking in all areas of our work, family life, and leisure time. So the question remains, is slow living truly a better way of life than our current fast-paced lifestyles? To answer this question, I don't think it's appropriate to say that one lifestyle is better than the other. They are different ways of thinking and viewing the world. But I do believe that slower intentional living has tremendous benefits to life, which I personally resonate with. Hustle culture is romanticized through the idea of productivity, getting things done, and working hard for the life you want. However, this way of thinking and experiencing the world can only get you so far. Once you have reached those achievements, many individuals often claim to feel a sense of lack in their lives. This feeling of lack is magnified at certain points because the high strong hustle work culture can act as a mask for what we truly value. Once we strip away and remove this mask, it becomes easier for us to notice what we actually prioritize. Slow living leads a life where the wonders of the world come alive. It allows for pause and reflection, giving way to our surroundings and the special little things that make up each day, such as a warm cup of tea, reading a storybook with your child, or spending a spring afternoon making delicious baked goods and noticing the way the sweet aromas fill the kitchen air. It means dancing randomly with a loved one or spending an evening making intentional time for self-care by putting on your favorite lotion or face mask, making you feel refreshed and alive as if you were treating yourself to a spa day. Slow living allows you to step outside, feeling the greenery beneath your feet and the plants through your fingers. It opens your eyes to the warmth of the sun on a Sunday morning and makes you savor in the mouth-watering flavor of fresh street food during an afternoon city stroll. I believe that we can all benefit from aspects of a slower lifestyle. Here are some practical ways we can embrace slow living. Number one, minimize your belongings. Minimalism is often linked to a slower living lifestyle as it feeds into the idea of reduced clutter, allowing you to focus on your priorities and eliminate distractions. You don't need to embrace full minimalism to live slower, but minimizing your possessions to some degree does help you to focus on what is truly valuable to you. Minimizing your possessions helps you to intentionally choose what you want to fill your home, space, and life with, and only making way for materials that support who you truly are. Number two, find an outdoor space to explore. The research done to support the link between nature and human well-being is profound. Getting out in nature, whether it be a walk or a hike, 
A city stroll or through your favorite park will do wonders to your physical and mental health. Making this a habit will help you to be more intentional and reflective in the way you live your life, allowing you to step away from your busy, fast-paced work. Number three, create things from scratch. Although not everyone lives the DIY life, even learning to make some things from scratch helps you to appreciate the process, time, and hard work it takes for creation of any sort to take place. Embracing cooking and baking or creating home furniture is an easy way to remind ourselves that the little things matter, and simply performing this action can create a special life moment for you and your loved ones. Number four, avoid multitasking. Multitasking is mistaken as being a beneficial and productive way of completing tasks and is idolized in our work culture. However, multitasking is actually shown to have fewer benefits than what is initially believed. It's counterproductive as you are more likely to make more mistakes as your attention becomes divided and you have less focus. Singling out a task and completing it in its entirety before moving on to the next is a more effective and intentional way to complete duties. Tackling one job at a time allows you to slow down, give your full attention, and therefore causing less distractions. Slow living isn't the absence of working hard, but rather the addition of ease formulated around true life values, happiness, and purposeful meaning. It's the reconnection with the earth, your relationships, family and friends, and most importantly, yourself. It brings about a sense of calm, comfort, and warmth with the world that much of our modern society is missing. So many of us are consumed with our work life and constantly obsessing over what our next steps are that we forget to make time to enjoy our existence on this planet for the short time we have. Living a slower life is helping me to understand not only the beauty in the world, but also in myself. As we get older, it becomes easier to crucify ourselves for every little mistake that we make or whenever we don't feel like we are performing at our best. Much of this mentality is created because of our hustling way of life. However, with living a slower life, embracing the unknown, giving yourself grace, and taking time to enjoy each moment, it becomes easier to reconnect with our purpose and meaning in our lives, finding what truly makes us happy.